Hey, how's it going everybody? Casual22 here. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can get the SNES emulator for your iPhone or iPod Touch, also known as the Super Nintendo Entertainment System as it was called back in the 1990s when it first came out. So now you can get it on your iPod Touch or iPhone if it is unlocked. So you do need to be unlocked, jailbroken, or jailbroken, not unlocked, to get this. There's tons of videos on YouTube showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPod Touch or iPhone. But guys, if you do want me to do a video showing you how to unlock and jailbreak your iPod Touch or iPhone, let me know, leave me a comment, and I'll probably make you guys a video. But anyways, here's how we get the SNES emulator. So first we're going to open up Cydia here. Now this is pretty easy to do, it's not too difficult. Just you just need to do a search here and get a get a repo source. So we're gonna go into search here. We're gonna search SNES S N. Search is a little slow sometimes when you first open up Studio. But yeah, just you can just type in SNES for now. You won't have all these different uh, games when you first get in. We go to S Okay. You guys won't have all these different games on here because I have the I have the source that you need that gives you all those ROMs there. We're going to download SNES for iPhone. And I think it one of them costs money, one of them doesn't. One's like four or five dollars, something like that. Other one's free, and I downloaded the free one first, and it said it was only like twelve, ten days. So then I just went ahead and bought the other one. It's probably well worth your time if you're going to be playing a lot of games to buy it. So first you're going to download SNES for iPhone. You can try the trial if you want, but I went ahead and bought the this one later here. So yeah. Okay, so after you download that. Oh, I'll show you guys how to download that if you don't know how. It's pretty pretty simple. You click on it. And instead of modify there, it'll probably say download or install or something like that. It's pretty easy. Click that and your system will probably restart and download it. So that's pretty straightforward. Next you're going to do, you're going to go to manage. And you're going to go to sources. And you're going to go add source. Okay, so you're gonna go add and type hit add and type in your source, but I already have it, so I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna show you. It's called iRom Repo. You probably can't see the link there, so I'll probably put it in the sidebar for you guys. It's pretty easy. It's called iromrepo.com slash Cydia slash SNES. You probably can't see this because the camera quality here is pretty bad, but so you add that and after you have both those after you get the repo you'll see all those all those uh... SNES games here I'll show you guys some of them here we're already in the S section which is probably where all the good games here we are Super Mario Super Mario All-Stars probably the best, best Mario game Mario Kart Mario RPG Mario World so yeah, you got so many games on here just look at them all so these are all the ROMs you can get for your for your SNES emulator on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So it's pretty straightforward. And after you have everything downloaded here, I'll show you your icon. There it is, right there. And show you how it works. I'm still getting used to the controls here. Um, you can play, you see different options here, you have portrait or landscape. Uh, portrait's a little easier for me with, uh, with playing Mario here, because when I'm playing landscape, it's kind of hard for me to see, because my thumb gets in the way. But yeah, I just want to show you guys how well this works and looks here.
pretty much just like how it was back in the day on the cartridges. The only thing is, I miss having those buttons you'd have on your cartridge there. It made it a lot easier. Because you can actually, like, because you use that speed run a lot, pressing Y, but... Anyways, as you can see here, the game works pretty well. I'm just still getting used to these controls, but other than that, it's pretty fun. If you're in, into the SNES or emulators, I would definitely suggest getting this and playing it on your iPhone or iPod Touch. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and like other videos related to technology and gaming, please check out my channel. I got tons of technology and gaming videos on there. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.